First and foremost, all praises go out to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, elders, and Akim of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of Yasharala throughout the four corners of the earth. This article I have right here, it goes into how the Trump administration to send U.S. cell phones a test alert on Thursday. It goes into... The Trump administration will send a message to all U.S. cell phones on Thursday to test a previously unused alert system that aims to warn the public about national emergencies. It says the messages will bear the headline presidential alert. The Federal Emergency Management Agency, FEMA, said in a statement this week, phones will make a loud tone and have a special vibration, said FEMA, which will send the alert. The test message scheduled for 2.18 p.m. EDT on Thursday will read, This is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert Systems. No action is needed. And it goes on to say, The test has been scheduled to ensure that the alert system would work in the event of a national emergency. U.S. cell phone users will not be able to opt out. It says, Former President Barack Obama signed a law in 2016 requiring FEMA to create a system allowing the president to send cell phone alerts regarding public safety emergencies. Since the wireless emergency alert system began in 2012, it has issued over 36,000 alerts for situations such as missing children, extreme weather, and natural disasters. It says, but never a presidential directive. Cell phone users can opt out of natural disasters or missing children alerts. And then it says, FEMA said in a statement, the alerts can only be used for national emergencies. The president has sole responsibility for determining when the national level alerts are used. In the event of widespread severe weather or another significant event on September 20th, the test will be pushed back to October 3rd, FEMA said. The administration announced in July that it would schedule the test alert for September. The White House did not immediately respond to a request for comment or on its on the White House did not immediately respond to a request for a comment on its role in planning the test alert. It says the administration will send a test alert via radio and television broadcasters. Two minutes after the cell phone alert, it will interrupt programming for about one minute, FEMA said. Cell towers will broadcast the WEA test for approximately 30 minutes beginning at 2.18 p.m. The U.S. Federal Communications Commission has approved new rules to ensure starting in 2019 that alerts are more precisely targeted with links to photos or other important information. There have been issues with prior state alerts. In January, Hawaii issued a false alert. Oh, yeah, this goes into uh, that nuclear uh, missile warning that went off and uh, happened in Hawaii a couple months ago. It says, in January, Hawaii issued a false alert of a missile attack that went uncorrected for 38 minutes after being transmitted to mobile phones and broadcast stations, causing widespread panic, widespread panic across the Pacific Island state. In April, the FCC blamed that false alarm on human error and inadequate safeguards. And with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles, elders, and Akim, a great millstone, and peace and salutations to the elective Yasharala throughout the four corners of earth. Shalom.